So with the Spider Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu event coming up this weekend, Flow Grappling decided to do a little piece where they interviewed Marcel Garcia while they were at his academy, MG, in New York. Um, and they talked to him about competing, and he talked about how he's he's interested in it. And this is something that he brought up a little while back. He actually talked about it in November, prior to a event. And I'll actually um, show the interview where he does that. Uh, it's right here. Uh, I'll, I'll show that interview after I'm done with this article. Uh, but in this article, they talk about what sort of conditions he would like to see for him to actually come back. And one of the big things he talks about is that he wants to have an event where it's really sport focused and they don't talk about um, trash talk a lot. Now, in some of my MMA commentary, I've kind of have a, had an issue with this sort of attitude because in reality, professional sports, they are an entertainment business. If you are trying to make money off of professional sports, what you're doing is you're selling tickets or you're selling, um, you're selling ad space, which is against the number of viewers you have. And as far as viewership goes, if you're going on a pay-per-view event, if you're going pay-per-view, then you're having people actually like pay for the actual event, or you can have people paying for a subscription to something like Flow where they're watching it. And at the end of the day, if you're going to watch an event, if you're going to actually go to the event, if you're going to spend your time sitting at home watching the event, um, that event itself is competing against other possible forms of entertainment. So if you're going out to see Spider, for example, you could be going to a club, you could be going to a movie. Uh, but you're choosing to go to spider it's kind of the same thing so when you have these sports where they're competing in the entertainment realm having things like trash talk does help it it actually does give people more of a reason to actually want to tune in and something actually to interest them so while i understand from a sporting aspect especially on the jiu-jitsu side where a lot of times where you sign up for a tournament you just go there you compete the only other people around are maybe your your training partners or your friends or your family um maybe you don't like having the trash talk aspect and that's definitely an issue with uh, marcel garcia he definitely doesn't like that but for the growth of that for the growth not just jujitsu but for the growth of a lot of sports it's nice to have the trash talk and have have there be some storylines that people can follow along with uh let me see if we actually get to the quote in here all right so marcel says i want to go to a big event that treats people good that respects all the fighters an event that doesn't make fighters trash talk about each other that's what i'm looking for all right, so I'll go back to the interview that he had uh, a few months ago, just talking about other conditions for him to compete, and I'll just uh, end the video at that. Uh, so let me just get the volume up right before we start that. Like, I compete many times, like, uh, outside. Like, outside, kind of, like, I'm far from my friends, far from my family, you know what I mean? Like, uh, many times, you know what I mean? But every time I compete next to my town or near my house, you know, it's a, it's a better feeling, you know? So if I have to choose to come back compete on the van, I mean, Casa is right there. You know, it's it's it's, it's maybe the, the number one on the list. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm gonna come back to compete, obviously. Like you know, I mean, that's 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 why I'm looking for my future. I'll come back to compete. You know? I just don't know when because I'm just enjoy so much like a uh, uh, parenting. You know what I mean? And I and I put so much effort in that. You know what I mean? But there will be one time that like a. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm already not changing diapers anymore. My kids are already like getting too big for me. And they can side behind the next door. And from the memory that I have to compete in Sao Paulo, my Abu Dhabi, compete um, another Abu Dhabi in New Jersey when I was already living in New Jersey. You know what I mean? And I just have a good memory. So, like, why not? You know what I mean? Why not one day? There's a possibility to make compete all the events too. I mean, like, uh, IBJJF master. Uh, who's maybe a mundial game? Mean, it's going to be really hard. I'm not saying it's easy I mean, to go there and do it. You know I mean? Uh, maybe I would have, you know, I mean, I, 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 I still have a good feelings, you know, when I'm touching feelings, like, I, I, uh, the memories come, come on and off, you know what I mean, and then make me feel like, oh, I, I want to do that, you know what I mean, again, why not, you know what I mean, but I, I'm glad, like, time is not, not pressure anymore, you know what I mean, like, like, before, if I put my name in it, because I'm, I really train for that, you know what I mean, I, I don't take for granted go to a big event for, just for the money, or a big person, or just kind of show up, or just kind of, um, Beat someone easy. I mean, I, I don't want that. I want to. I want to go like uh, the way I, I like to do. It. I, I like to put everything I have out over that. You know what I mean? And to have maybe one day have my kids watching me do this, like uh, it would be very special. You know, that big motivation of course. So, I mean, if one, if one day my son tell me like, uh, Daddy, I don't know too much about this like jujitsu stuff, but can you go and do it for me and then and show them to me? I was like, I was like, uh, where is the next tournament? You know what I mean? I, the way how I do everything, my kids like if they tell me to do it, if they ask me to something like that, like, uh, you know what I mean? That's no option. It will be really fun to do it. All right, and then just to uh, point out the article itself came from Flow Grappling, and this video is also Flow Grappling on YouTube, so you should have to check out a lot of good stuff like this.